Have you ever had Pop Rocks before? Well, you probably should try them. They're kind of a, an interesting kind of a candy. And just like the name of it, it makes a fun popping sound. Ready? <laughs> it's very strange. You should try it. All right. So today's experiment will be lots of fun. We'll have to try it out. You ready? Okay. Okay. First thing we have to do here, my friends, is get our four balloons ready. I just kind of give them a little stretchy stretch. And we're going to open up our Pop Rocks and our balloon and try to pour the Pop Rocks right inside the balloon. Okay. And hopefully we can do this carefully without getting it all over the place. So if you have a funnel, that could work well too. I'm just going to do a little shaky shake in there a little at a time. I'm going to shake it up, make sure it gets all in there. You want the full contents of the Pop Rocks into the balloons. So what I'd like you to think about is what might happen when we put the balloons on top of our different drinks. And let me point out what we're going to use. Carbonated sodas such as Diet Coke, Orange Crush Soda, Mountain Dew, and then we also have to try something that doesn't have a carbonation such as the water. So, as you continue to fill each of your four balloons, come right on back. You can hit pause button and join me when you're done. And I'll do the same so you don't have to watch me doing this four times. <laughs> so through the magic of video, we're going to shorten this up. I'm going to continue pouring the into each of the four balloons that you see here. One, two, three, and we're still doing number four. So I'll see you in just a moment. As I continue to fill each of the balloons, you'll notice I'm really starting to think about what is going to possibly happen as I get each balloon inflated with each type of soda or, in the last case, water. You might want to look at the sugar content. Think about when you drink any of these sodas. Are they more fizzy? Are they flat? It certainly is interesting to think about what might happen as soon as the balloons get tipped into the drink. What do you think might happen? Will the balloons just kind of flop? Will there be okay, an explosion? So through the magic of editing, I was able to do all four balloons. They're all filled with one packet each of the Pop Rocks. So, as I pointed out earlier, our four different drinks that we have, I wanted to get us thinking. Now, Diet Coke, we know has a artificial sugar in it, right? And they claim, you know, this has got sugar in it too, right? And they claim that the, um, the Mountain Dew may be higher, I don't know, caffeine, and maybe there's more sugar in it. So I wonder if there's any kind of a correlation. Now, all three of these are carbonated drinks, whereas we're going to do the water and it's no carbonation. So let's take a, let's take a guess here, folks. What do you think is going to happen? Try to adjust things here so that we can see everything clearly. What do you think? Any, any speculation? All right, first, let's open up carefully. Now, sometimes I like to open my sodas slowly. These have been bouncing around a bit, so I don't want to have any kind of a preliminary explosion of the carbonation. You know, when a soda gets shook up a little bit? All right, so sometimes I just open a little at a time to let the, let the gas out, right? Oh, am I saying something too much about? Okay, same thing. Get our next drink going. Okay, aren't you excited that you're watching this? <laughs> And just carefully, we're opening them all. Now, there's a little bit of um, space in between here. Not too much, right? But just enough, I think, to fit our Pop Rocks in. But 
it should be really exciting, right? Okay. Yeah, that's right. We are going to be doing something with the pop rocks and the balloons. So hang tight here, my friends. All right, and our water. That one should be pretty easy. Okay, so now carefully, we're going to take the balloons and we're going to put them around the tops without tipping our um, pop rocks in, right? So very carefully. Okay, now... See how I'm just holding the top here, kind of holding, I'm holding that part of the balloon to make sure that it doesn't accidentally spill in there. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Do you see how that's hanging off like that? Okay, we're gonna do that with the rest of them. Okay, is anybody making any guesses what will happen to these balloons? And you'll notice that I'm outside too. Um, whoa, part of that is, well, I thought in case of a mess, but look at what's happening already, friends. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is tons of fun. <laughs> and apparently I needed an assistant to help me make sure that nothing would spill. And it did. <laughs> so sorry about that. But this is pretty heavy right now. So may as well just go ahead with our orange, right? Are you noticing how big these are getting? So the Diet Coke's pretty big. Let's see what'll happen with this orange. Trying to make sure that it's getting its, getting its, um, it does feel like it has a little bit of air to it. And I was thinking maybe it got trapped because it did tip a little bit and got wet. So I don't know if the balloon itself got wet, too wet for it to work. And I think that's might be what happened. So note to self, when you're doing this at home, make sure you have somebody else to help you so that they can hold. Because guess what, Miss Wendy? Having an extra set of hands would have been fabulous. So we're going to go to the water. So I think that one might be a little less crazy and chaotic, right? Oh, you know what's cool about that? You can see it. Can you hear that? It's pretty cool. But are we noting what's happening with the balloons? Notice the Diet Coke. I'm actually leaning it against my tripod here because you don't have the extra hands to hold it. And I think the weight of it is kind of knocking it over. The balloon's kind of getting heavy. What's causing the balloon to inflate, do you suppose? You have any guesses? I hope you do. All right, here we go, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew's doing its thing too. Why didn't the water expand at all? How come what I had thought was blocking the orange soda? I thought maybe down here got wet when it tipped and it wasn't working. I can feel air in there and it's not budging. There's no budging happening there. The Mountain Dew, not as fizzy. And that surprised me too. So what caused, I wonder, <laughs> it actually filled up with soda. You see what's happening here? It's almost like re-fizzing. What is happening? Why is the Diet Coke going all crazy? Now friends, what I would love for you to do is to test it yourself and determine what is causing one type of soda over another or maybe you'll try a different liquid, maybe orange juice or some other kind of um, beverage, coffee. I don't know, sky's the limit. So experiment with that. Let me know what you think is the reason why one is inflating more than the other or not inflating at all. Interesting, right? I'm still surprised about this Diet Coke because it really seems to keep on foaming and fuzzing and all kinds of fun stuff. Let me know what you think and tell me what you had happen with whatever liquids you used. So which drink inflated the balloon the most? Was your hypothesis correct? I did want to come back and share. You're still hearing them making their sounds with the Pop Rocks. Something that I would like you to test out. Let some time pass. 
tell me if you're brave enough. I know Miss Wendy's going to try it. What the soda might be like. Now, soda usually has that kind of fizzy kind of a taste. So once the, the kind of crackling that we're hearing from the Pop Rocks is done, I want to be able to take a taste. And I want you to tell me what your soda might taste like after. So let's think about this with the water being completely opposite of the Diet Coke, which I would say was probably the most inflated balloon. What caused those balloons to inflate anyways? Pop Rocks have small carbon dioxide bubbles inside, and that's what makes the candy pop, just like soda. So they both kind of do that, and once you drop it in, it's able to separate from the corn syrup, and it makes it kind of fill the balloon with the gas. Afterwards, it's kind of flat, like if you left a can of soda out too long. So here we go. Taste test. Flat soda. All right, friends, so I'm taking a taste of the soda. It's been several minutes. And my soda is flat. What happened? Hmm.